Welcome. Our spiritual exercise today is imaginative prayer. However, before we pray with the Gospel of Luke, I want to draw our attention to Isaiah chapter 50. So if you have your Bible open, what I'd like you to do is first open to Isaiah in the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah chapter 50. Open your Bible. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 50. And in silence, read verses 4 through 11. Maybe read that a few times. And as you read Isaiah 50, 4 through 11, consider how this prophecy of the suffering servant is fulfilled in Jesus. So go ahead and hit pause now on this recording and read Isaiah 54 through 11. With that as the background for us, now let's turn to Luke chapter 23. First, I'd like you to, again in silence, now read verses 1 through 17. Again, as you are in the Bible, in silence, first read Luke 23, 1 through 17. Go ahead and hit pause on this recording, and then when you're finished reading 1 through 17, come back to me. So that's the setting. Jesus is before Pilate. He eventually goes to Herod. Then now he's back to Pilate. And we pick up in verse 18. But altogether they shouted, Away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Now Barabbas had been in prison for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. And Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus. But they continued their shouting, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate addressed them a third time, what evil has this man done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted, calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man that, who had been in prison for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. Holy Spirit, we are on holy ground. And we ask that you would enliven our spiritual senses today so that we might see what was seen, that we might hear what was heard. we might feel what was felt there. Imagine that you are in the Praetorium. It's a wide open amphitheater, you might say, with a large throne on the second floor that overlooks the wide amphitheater. And imagine the view from that chair where Pilate sat. And as you look out from his chair into the amphitheater, you see thousands of Jewish pilgrims, thousands of angry mob. Just for a moment, imagine thousands of those who are there. There's a large staircase that leads from where the Praetorium welcomes the thousands and the mob and that leads up in the staircase to the chair of Pilate.
Imagine Pilate sitting in that throne, adorned in his Roman soldier's outfit, that leather breastplate, the flaps on either side, his Greco-Roman haircut, short bangs, short around the ears. Imagine Pilate sitting in that chair looking at all those people. Jesus is standing at Pilate's right. And from the view of your imagination, you almost are seeing from behind Jesus, looking at what Jesus is seeing as Jesus is seeing thousands of people. And from Jesus' view, he can see palm branches still littering the streets. And almost erupting from the crowd, you can hear, crucify him, crucify him. And almost shakes the very foundation of the floor. Crucify him. And as Jesus listens to the words crucify him, he can remember the words Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For just five days earlier, they were shouting Hosanna with palm branches. And just five days later, the ground erupts as they say, crucify him. And you were there, knowing how humiliating crucifixion is knowing that he will be crucified for the very people who demand crucify him. Jesus, as he listens, looks at Pilate. And Pilate looks at Jesus. And they both look at you. Stay there, in between Pilate and Jesus, and listen to the crowds say, crucify him, crucify him. God bless you.